to talk about a number of things, but we're also here to rec uh, recognize a number of people, and I'll certainly uh, leave the recognition for most people to the end, but I do want to specifically note, and I have a special proclamation here for her, and she doesn't realize it just yet, a little different than the other proclamations, and that's for far, far from our Department of Social Service for all the work that she's done. And, and for her receiving the Killian Better uh, uh, Award today. Unfortunately, Barb is leaving us at the end of this year. She's retiring, which is good for her. So anybody who makes it through county government, especially for the number of years that she did, and I won't say because I might be giving away her age, but the people who go through county government for that long, when they get to retirement, people are like, oh, I feel so bad for leaving. And I say, wait till the second day after you retire. And you'll be thinking, why didn't I do this a long time ago? So congratulations, Barb, and thank you for all the good work and service that you've done for the years. Now, when I was asked to, to speak before the, the group today, I, I was thinking a number of different things, and I, at one time, was preparing a speech, and I said, well, you know what, nobody likes a, a prepared speech that's read from. I certainly don't need to tell you, the organizations of Western New York, about the good work that you do and, and what you do, because you're the ones that are out there on behalf of the people of our community, whether it's here in Erie County or across Western New York, who are servicing those in our community, especially those related to homelessness. And it's great to hear the wonderful numbers that, uh, that Dale said about Erie County and, and what we're doing here. And, and actually, this morning, I clicked on a, a report from Governing Magazine. It's their, it's their lead story in Governing Magazine today. And though wonderful things are happening here in Erie County, this is exactly the, the lead story, and I'll read the title to you. Hunger, comma, homelessness continue to rise in U.S. cities. It said even though the unemployment rate has dropped across the nation from 7 to uh, approximately 5.8%, homelessness in, is on average increasing by 3%. Hunger in our major cities in the United States is increasing by 7%. And we see that same type of story even here in some degrees, maybe not in the homelessness, but on the hunger and the other assistance that's required by individuals here in Erie County. We have this wonderful rebirth that's going on in our community right now. A tremendous rebirth. And we talk about the new Buffalo. And there is a new Buffalo. Raise your hands if 10 years ago you thought that what's going on in downtown Buffalo would have happened 10 years ago. He's leaning up against the wall, so that's kind of unfair. <laughs> but for the rest of us, no. We thought we could do better. We had ideas for plans to be better. But if you really thought about what's happening in this community with the job development, the job growth, we have the lowest unemployment rate in our county since 2008. We've got wonderful things going on, over $6 billion worth of projects that are going on in this new Buffalo, but we still have an old Buffalo, an old Erie County, an old Western Erie that's hurting. And we see that in Erie County government more than anyone else. Because when people need assistance, when they need help, they come through our doors. They come through our doors to seek assistance, whether it's on health care for Medicaid, whether it's assistance for temporary assistance for needy families, supplemental nutrition assistance program, SNAP, which everyone still knows as is food stamps. And I don't care what it's called because if it's been called food stamps for 70 years, people are always going to think of it as food stamps. But when people walk in our doors and they're seeking assistance, they don't really care what the program is, they just need help. And that's what government is here for, that's what your organizations are here for. We know we can't do it by ourselves. Government can't do it, not-for-profits can't do it. We have to work together to achieve success, whether it's issues associated with homelessness or hunger or finding just a person a job, because no one can do it on its own. But I want to talk to you about how we, at this time of great promise, this time of great growth in our community, cannot leave behind others. We sit here and we talk about this new Buffalo. We talk about this tremendous future that we have. Yet, 25% of the residents in Erie County receive their health care from Medicaid. You only qualify for Medicaid if you're at 133% of the poverty level or below. Which means for a family of four, you can make up to $32,000 a year and still qualify for Medicaid under the expansion of the Affordable Care Act. 
Now, the expansion of the Affordable Care Act was a good thing because we're seeing many more people get on the poverty or get off the poverty rolls and getting health care through the government. But that does not necessarily mean that people are doing well. Many of those families that are barely making ends meet are away are one accident or being unemployed from walking into our doors and not being able to pay the rent for their home, not being able to feed their children. And if they're not able to pay their rent, they may be put out on the street, and then they may become homeless. So what we're dealing with in this new community, this new Buffalo, is not just this, these gleaming new towers that are going up, but significant need and assistance. And when I say new Buffalo, I'm not just talking about Buffalo. I'm talking about all of Erie County. Because poverty and the issues surrounding it exist everywhere in this community, including in the most affluent suburbs in our community. And that's what we need to remember. When we're talking about addressing these issues, and that's why I, I'm glad the Homeless Alliance is known as the Homeless Alliance of Western New York, not just Buffalo, because it sends a message to people in our community that there are people in need everywhere, and we must be there for them. So we have this wonderful opportunity ahead of us through this new Buffalo. And the question is, what are we going to do with it as a community for everyone? The best time to ensure that all boats rise with the tide is when there is a rising tide. And right now there is a rising tide. But are we going to leave others that are off the shore further away and not enjoy the rising tide so that they sink for themselves? Those are the issues that we've been talking about in my administration for some time and working with our partners in the community to address. And it's not an easy thing to do. Earlier this year I announced that Erie County was in the process of coming up with a health and human services plan. And we were going to announce it later this year. We still haven't announced it. It's not because it's not going to get done. It's because it's a difficult thing to do. Because we know that no matter what we do in a community, we're never going to be able to 100% eliminate poverty. The question is, what can we do to make lives better? What can we do to ensure that we've made a good faith effort on behalf of the people that we serve to create a better community for all? And what we found out is, once again, government can't do it all. But you need government there as a partner. So that's why we need to work with our partners in the not-for-profit area to assist us in addressing these issues. We need to work with our partners in federal state government to do that. The problem is what's going on in the community, not just in Erie County, but in other places, is the idea that government is bad. Government is not the answer. Government is the problem. We've heard that for many years. As Ronald Reagan said, is government's not the solution, government's the problem. But I submit to each and every one of you there, there are situations in which government is the solution. And there is no other solution than government. And I'll give you one big example that if you lived in the South Towns three weeks ago, you know about. And that's Winter Storm Knife. The storm that came in like a knife right into the heart of Erie County and dropped six to seven feet of snow. There's no way that there's other organizations outside of government that could have done what was done to solve that. And I'm not just tooting my own horn, I'm talking about all levels of government from village, city, town, county, state, and of course, the deployment of the National Guard. There are times in which government actually can be the solution to the problem. When it comes to health and human services, I submit to each of you, government can be a solution for the problem as well. It is not just the problem. The problem is there are people across this country who look at government as solely the problem and trying to kill it, and trying to cut off the means to fund many of the programs that truly pay for what you do. So what we as a community need to do is to ensure that we're going to work together to step up to the plate and say, we can solve this, but everyone has to have a place at the table, and everyone has to understand that only by working together can we create a better community for all. So as I said before you today, and, I, and we're, we're talking about the wonderful things that the Homeless Alliance of Western New York is doing, I want you to, to think about what we need to do as a community going forward. Because as this new Buffalo springs forth, we have to be careful. We have to ensure that we're just not creating a new Buffalo for a select few. We're creating a new Buffalo, a new Erie County, a new Western New York for each and every one of us to enjoy. To each and every one of us to find a job, to be able to find an affordable home, to raise our family in a community that we care about. And I can say to you now, that is not necessarily the case for, unfortunately, some people in our community. And we need to continue to work together to do that. And as I said, Erie County government can't do it on its own. That's why it's very important that each and every one of you here on behalf of your respective agencies and to, to 
be here to honor those who are doing such great work in our community. I want to thank the Homeless Alliance of Western New York to, for, for all the good work that they do. And for each and every one of you out there, I want to thank you and also just leave you with one little thing. I want to work with you. I want to work with you. And you need to work with other people as well. This isn't a critique. But you also need to step up to the plate and say, when you don't think things are right, this is what needs to be done. I'm not afraid to work within the parameters of the system we have, but we need to work together to create that new Buffalo. We can't do it alone, and I ask each and every one of you for your help and support in doing that. And I know if you do that, we will accomplish great things, greater things that we're even seeing today. And I do look forward to coming back, not only to announce the end of chronic homelessness in Erie County, but more importantly, to talk about the decline in poverty rate and how people truly are creating a new Buffalo for each and every one of us, not just a select few. Thank you, everyone.